Hey y'all, Airgun Angie with Gateway to Airguns. This is my next grip review. This is part one and this one's a replica and there is a company that does an awesome job, awesome job at replicas and that is of course Umarex. This is the Umarex Legends M1A1. It is a submachine BB gun and it's a replica of one that was used in the US military between 1938 and 1971. It was also a favorite among the gangsters and it was called, I guess maybe they were called gangstas. Gangstas. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, and um, it was called either a Tommy gun or the Chicago typewriter. It's a CO2 powered full auto or single shot BB gun. Guys, this one's going to be fun. Let's grip it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. Aesthetics. From butt to muzzle, the total length is 31.75 inches and the total weight is 7.75 pounds. It doesn't have an actual butt pad, but the butt of the gun is designed with a nice contour to fit nicely to the shooter's shoulder. The stock is a faux wood stock with sling mounts on the rear, as well as the indented forearm for a perfect grip while busting off some rounds. The grip, which is in front of the rear stock, is also faux wood and contoured to fit the human hand, while the trigger finger rests on the outside of the trigger guard, awaiting for the right time to engage the single stage trigger. In front of the trigger guard is the drop-free high-capacity stick mag, which houses the two 12-gram cartridges of CO2, as well as 30 BBs. The mag release is located behind and above the trigger guard on the left side of the gun. Above the forearm is the 12-inch smoothbore barrel equipped with fixed blade sights. The frame and the action of the gun are fully metal. Speaking of the action, you have the option to enjoy this one in semi or full auto with realistic open bolt blowback action for the recoil experience. Above the action on the right side of the gun you'll also find, and it may put a smile on your face like it did mine, the charging handle above the fire selector. Okay, let's get on to operation. Be sure the safety is engaged before doing anything. This one is not scopable, so moving on to loading the CO2 and the BBs. On the bottom of the stick mag, turn the capsule piercing screw counterclockwise and remove it using the included hex wrench. Apply a drop of RWS chamber lube oil on the top of the CO2 capsule and insert the top first and the second one butt first. Replace the piercing screw until the CO2 cartridge is pierced. On the front of the long edge of the mag is the 30 round BB chamber. To load the BBs, pull the follower down and insert the BBs into the loading port. Release the follower and insert the mag into the gun. Point the muzzle at your intended target, choose your fire option, semi or full auto, and pull the trigger. All right guys, so now that we know how to operate this guy, it's time to go take some first shots. There we go. I don't know if you're supposed to hold the mag or not, but it feels good to me. Oh wow. That is extremely accurate. All right, let's do the full. Full. You're probably supposed to hold it out here, but that's a little bit of a reach for me, so it feels better to hold it by the mag. <laughs> it's over that fast. It's really over that fast, guys. Wow, that was 30 shots already. Jeez. That's pretty sweet. And guys, that's pretty accurate. I would say I'm looking forward to checking this one out um, more and giving you guys the full review on it. So this is just part one. And I know this was not at the bench. This was me standing up. It is not a bench gun. I wouldn't call it a bench gun anyways. Um, but I will be shooting it at the bench on a rest so we can find out what type of accuracy it has. And I've got a few different types of BBs that I'll test in it to see if there's any difference. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, I am super pleased. And I would be even more super pleased if you wanted to check out more videos right here on the Gateway to Air Guns. But, but, I would be wrong to not point you over to the Air Gun Web YouTube channel. They have some great videos as well. And there are a few on Modern Air Gunner. That one, that channel we're just building, so it's a little slow, but there's those three channels that you can definitely go check out and find more videos similar to these ones here. 
I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns. Thank you all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. That's it for today. I'm Air Gun Angie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. Thank you.